Prime Minister Scott Morrison has been attacked by a protester at an election campaign event in southern New South Wales. The woman threw an egg at Mr Morrison after he addressed a Country Women's Association event in Albury. Political reporter Dan Conifer is travelling with the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister Scott Morrison's election campaigning in Albury Wodonga has quickly turned into a police investigation today after a, a woman at his first event, a Country Women's Association conference, came up behind him and threw an egg at the Prime Minister's head. It appears she was knocked by one of his security detail uh, at the last moment, so the egg uh, sliding almost across uh, the Prime Minister's head and uh, not cracking indeed, the egg uh, not breaking uh, at all and uh, the protester was uh, tackled and uh, by the uh, security detail and, and taken away, taken into police custody and while security was, uh, was apprehending her, an old woman at the CWA event was tackled to the ground, the Prime Minister having to help her back to her feet. Uh, she says she was uh, winded and, and the Prime Minister tweeting soon after the event that his concern was mostly for her but also using the, the incident to, to, to link uh, the egging to uh, vegan protesters who've been uh, invading, in his words, uh, farms and abattoirs across the country over recent months, saying that his government won't stand for people like today's protester and like those protesters in other parts of the country. And the lady who was knocked over in the incident says she was taken by surprise. All I know, I saw a guy with a camera start to wobble and he knocked me and I went down. I found out later that there was a protester trying to get in, but I didn't see the protester, so I don't know what happened. I have to say that the Prime Minister helped me get up off the floor and I was very grateful for his assistance. I was then brought out here to the first aid who did a full first aid check and yes, I'm fine. What did you land on? My hip. Pain problems? Not really, yeah. no. You were lucky. I, my main concern was I've recently had surgery on my stomach, so my main concern was holding my stomach <laughs> to make sure it didn't get hit or someone didn't land on it. Could have been a lot worse than that, couldn't it? Yeah. It could have, yes. Does it disappoint you what happened? You've had a it's... person try and throw an egg at the Prime Minister? I didn't see the person trying to throw the eggs. I am very disappointed that something like that would happen at a CWA meeting, but I believe that person was not a CWA member. Police have confirmed they have taken the protester into custody. Police currently have a female in custody in relation to an incident that occurred earlier today involving the Prime Minister. Uh, inquiries into that incident are continuing. Can you elaborate about the motive? Um, no, I'll take no questions in relation to that, other than I've already stated we have a female in custody. Inquiries are continuing in relation to an incident involving the Prime Minister this morning. Opposition leader Bill Shorten has also commented on the attempted egging. Mr Shorten says if the protester wants support from him, they should look elsewhere. Let me be very clear. This is appalling and disgraceful behaviour. In Australia, we have violence-free elections. People are allowed to protest peacefully, but anything approaching violence is completely unacceptable. If this protester thinks that she will get any sympathy or support from me, she couldn't be more wrong. And I, I get that it was a very upsetting experience for him. I'm not going to judge. Uh, I think I do need to reiterate, though, this is not what we do in Australia. We're not one of those countries. This is not what we do. It doesn't matter if you're the extreme left or the extreme right or indeed in between. This is appalling and disgraceful behaviour. No sympathy or support. This is not what we do in Australia.